What's up everyone? It's your boy Shotgun Gabe reminding you that if I can do it, you can do it. Today we're talking about TRXC. So if you're invested in TRXC, you might have seen a little bit of gains lately. And uh, I was invested with them before the year started. So the ending of 2020 and the beginning of uh, 2021 brought some good gains for me. Um, so looking at the chart right here from 1230, 2020. 1231, 2020, a few days after Christmas to 1.4, the stock moved from 67 cents all the way up to $1.14, and then they continued to climb upward from there all the way up to $4.44 a share, and that was in on 120. I made over 100% profit, 100 profit on gains from them, easy. Um, but over the last few weeks, they've been dipping. You know, and a couple of people are scared and people are wondering what's going on, especially just people that are not, don't have time to get in stocks every day and look at what's going on in their portfolio. So I was doing my research and looking around and studying stuff and seeing what was going on with them because um, I had a lot invested with them too. But right before the end of January, what I seen was coming was um, they were going to do a share dilution. So they were going to offer some more shares up for sale to what they already had out in the market. And uh, if you go to the um, investors page, it says January 6, 2021, Research Business Wire, Transintrex, New York Stock Exchange, TRXC, that's Tango Rico X-Ray Charlie, a medical device company that is digitizing the interface between the surgeon and the patient to improve minimally invasive surgery today announced that due to demand the underwriter has agreed to increase the size of the previous announced offering and purchase on a firm commitment basis. 23083333 shares of common stock of the company at a public offering of $3 per share, less underwriting, discounts, and commission. The company also has granted the underwriter a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 3462 499 shares of common stock at the public offering price, less underwriting discounts and commission. The offering is expected to close on or about January 2021, subject to customary closing conditions. So what they're saying is they're going to add more shares. And you guys are invested with these guys. Um, don't worry too much about it. Some people do, some people don't. What I, what I tend to do is I like when they do this. Because what happens is they see their companies going up, they see their companies becoming more valuable, and they got they got a positive outlook ahead. So what they do is the stock starts to climb, they offer more stocks, they get some more money for them, and then they use that to invest back in their company. I've seen Neil do it a couple of times, and Neil kept climbing on me. Um, so this is not a bad thing. You know what this is for me? This is a dip to buy. That's the way I see it. And if you look back, like I was saying at the candles, um, looking at the daily candles right here, I mean, they went from $1.15 a share all the way up to $4.40, and then they're pulling back to $2.96. Now's a good time to buy. Now's a good time to buy for me. This closed a few days ago. This was this was scheduled to close a few days ago. They're going to be pulling back up now. Um, it gives you a better better chance to buy at a cheaper price. It's on my calendar. TRXC share dilution ending on the 29th of January, 2021. So come Monday, I expect this maybe to dip a little bit more, buy in a couple of shares, and to shoot back up. Um, share dilutions are just opportunity. You know That's why you got to do your research. That's why you got to look at a company. And that's why you got to know what's going on because if you don't research your company well, if you don't believe they're going to be profitable, they're going to continue to be profitable and they're going to be, continue to make strides upward, then you're not going to buy the dip. You're just going to sell out and you're going to lose money. Um, so TRXC, TRXC a buy? I'd say yes. Buy the dip, baby. Buy the dip. Um, if you're in this, if you got some more positions, I mean, if you're in this and you got some shares, this is a chance to expand your positions. If you're not in and you've been thinking about getting in, it might be the right time for you to get in. Um, me personally, 
I'm going to watch it. You know, AMC has been going off the chain this week. Um, I got some investments in that. I have actually bought in on all four of my accounts, um, the two that I manage and the two that I have for myself. So my four-year-old daughter, <laughs> she got some shares. Um, so I'm going to continue to monitor that closely, especially throughout this week. And I'm also going to um, watch TRXC. I sold a couple of the shares while they were up. They went back down, and I'm going to buy a couple of more during the dip and ride them back up. This is something I see having in my portfolio long term. I plan on keeping this for a while. So um, if you guys are invested, hope to see you on the upside.